Hi guys, welcome to another day of Tech Things. Now today in the program I will be visiting the major auto parts dealers in Grand Cayman. And so if you're new to the channel, just remember to subscribe and if you want the latest videos, click the notification bell. <laughs> now I start off things with going to Napa. Napa, North American Parts Association, I think that's what this stands for. And this is located on Shedden Road. Now the Napa deals with a lot of heavy equipment vehicles as well as small vehicles as well. They sell parts, they sell oh and this is what I like. This is one of the things that you can use for when you're taking the oil or changing the oil in the vehicle yeah I'm a, I'm a do-it-yourself type of person so these things come and handy for me so I'm just making my way through I'm gonna see what's in this pan but this seems to be something for persons who are doing like AC repairs so not interested so as I walk around, I'm just going to show you what's inside of this store. This is some reflective lights there. This section is for like the oil, the radiator. Yes, yeah, more the radiator, the windshield wipers. headphones are some very uh, expensive windshield wipers there but they're for most of the, the high-end vehicles here you have the air fresheners for the car car seats the shampoo the microfiber cloth and various other things that can be used to clean vehicles it's like the tire this is here is for the w the headlights the sides for car covering the sun sun visor there These in the showcase are mostly for the the tools. So here to the right is there are the clips and screws that are used on cars, like under the car or some parts. These on the right are sprays, different colors, different brands as well. And in front of me there are the oil and and oil and transmission and engine oil. Here you have the grease on the right, you have the oil filter to the left, different types of oil filter. So many different. You have to know them in order to get the right one for your vehicles. And here you have like the power steering fluid, steering, and that's the pump there that can use to suck the oil or any liquid from one container to the next. And this is gas, the gas bottle. To the right, you have like here you have like some of the tools you have batteries for drills power drills impact tool you have also have the impact tool as well and some very large tools there and i'm gonna go around the showcase area just to let you have a look so you can see for yourselves you have have some specialist equipment there you have like the tester for batteries 
about your chargers i mean so so many so many other stuffs i mean you have to look for yourselves to see what it's all about i'm not really that verse as it relates to vehicle the specialist tools you have a sort of bolt there you have also the battery charger the voltmeter and some batteries different brands different types some for trucks cars boats And here you have the counters with the guys that knows exactly what you want when you order. And there you have the oil and the, the motor oil and the transmission oil. And the customer service rep to the right there, or the cashier. So I'm going to leave from here and I'm going to head to my next location, which is Parker's. So here I'm at, I am at Parker's now and this is on North Sound Road. So I have to move briskly across the road. And you can see they're opening ours on the gate or on the door. So, just make my walk to the right here and just show you around. So, you can see the tools are kept mostly in the in the glass compartment. There, you have some other specialist tools, nuts, bolts. The Well, I like these type of tools. These are Stanley brand. So, let me walk around now and let you have a look. So, the aisle, I'm just going to scan there and you can see what's inside of them. They are not that large, so you can see from as as I turn and enter there. You can look in that part, you see tools. Some of them I don't even know what they are for, but I know they are for something. And here you have the saws, some big steel cutters. power saw there what i noticed like with the stores in in grand cayman and i think mo it's something that happens around the world mostly still it's the stores don't just sell don't confine themselves to what they are known for so for example you have uh, this auto parts store so you see they will be selling selling uh, power saw steel cutters so these are mainly for construction construction workers, but they want to incorporate other things in their stores so people can come and have like a one-stop shop in the store. So this is no different. And as you, you'll see as I go on that there are different types of things that are in here apart from just auto parts. So I'm interested in the one of these steering wraps because my steering is going and I think the steering wrap will give it some extra life but I think I need uh, one of the small ones because I purchased one before and it was a little bit big but I'm not sure how the size thing works out so I might need an ass some assistance from one of the the persons that work here but i'll just wait a little and if i see one 
So I'm just walking around again to let you see the place. Here you have the 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 blind spot, right? The blind spot mirror. So the, and also the windshield wipers on this side. So I'm sort of interested in the the blind spot mirrors. Mm, yeah, man. Um, look here. Oh, so yeah, there's a the guy here. The steering. Yeah. I'm good on it. Steering um, cover there. Remember yeah, the and I'm start there, his assistance. But it'd be too big for my steering. I don't know if it go by size, like bigger. Go by size? Yeah, I have a Honda. Yeah, so. No. This guy is supposed to give me some good assistance. Then the steering will be. No man, I write color this car grey, a silver, I agree. Let me hold this. Yeah, one the first picky took fits me well, so I will take it. I like the colour and I like the size, so I think no, the size will work. And I'm not that type of person to go in and out and check it if it's right size or right price. I'm I'm just a one one stop man. So So let me move on again. I get my what I want. And let me continue now to look around. There's a screwdriver there with some flexible handle. And So I'm back where the blind spot mirror is and I think I'm going to need a pair because they are very important especially if you're a person who just love to overtake you need to have the blind spot mirror in your car and this, the wing mirrors it avoids accident significantly so I'm going to try these two it's not that expensive so it comes with the two-sided tape and you pull, pull off the side and then you just place it on the wing mirror of the car and it goes so i'm gonna use it and see how it works and then if it's good i just buy another pair yep reasonable very reasonable yeah my god yeah, one of this, the staff members, I was trying to go incognito here, <laughs> but she recognized me, so. <laughs> yeah, nevertheless, let me still show you around and try to be so in, uh, incognito, even though I was uh, busted. So, back to the tool part, some screwdrivers here. So, uh, you have... Uh, vice grip pliers I mean as you can see there's are uh, some charging devices charging batteries and so on some huge huge spanners there I, I am sure those are for trucks there is no nuts and bolts inside of a car that big
So I just walk along, show you around here. So you see that are different stuffs as well. I'm not really familiar much with it. These are this seem to be the jack area as you see this one displayed in front of me right there. So I'm assuming that it's mostly jocks are on that side. But it's very interesting coming in here. It's not, most of the times you see things that you don't even know really was invented. These are some uh, some tools that are used to pry stuffs. I was interested at once in a disc pad remover. I'm not seeing it, but these are some fr some front wheel uh, ball giant remover as well. Different brands, different sizes, different prices. Here are some screws, some nuts, some bolts. Just lost my ribbons a while ago to find it back. So move along. Funnel to the left there. You have here you some filter cap. The oil as well. And this is where the customer service agents are. The oil. The AC gas. The oil, the AC oil. So. see the guy are uh, working hard there to ensure that the stocks are in place where people can see them as so the pain section let me move across here and And from looking at here, I see it looks it looks so much like section for boats, right? These are for marine stuffs, and as I say, the stores incorporate a lot of things. This is mainly the marine stuffs. You have the so. All right, all right, then here. This wraps up the end of my right. tour in uh, Parker's, and I will be heading to my next location which is by Godfrey, off Godfrey next way and it's called Ace and Ace is is related to Parker's so if you go to Ace or Parker's and you can't get the part from one you may can get it from the other that's how they work it's one one company so I'm trying to make my way across the road which uh, this time is a little bit busy so let me move a little briskly. Now this is Ace. The opening hours there on the door. This one, this store is open the latest. It closes at 9 p.m. Except it's not open on a, a, a Sunday and a public holiday. So the first spot I went to is the right and it is mostly for the auto parts dealer like the paints, tape, glues. So as you see
Now that glass entrance is where the the representative will give you whatever color paint you want. But this aisle is where you have the cloth and stuff, so cleaning up stuff. I was just asked by one of the customer service person if I was getting through, which you know it's yes, because I'm really just looking around to ensure that you guys see what's inside of the store. It would be very awkward to have her beside me walking around and telling me so. I have to do it solo. So there's a fishing equipment there. Now this section seems to be the section for cleaning products, vacuums, lawnmower, and accessories that goes with it. You have like a shovel, dust bin, rubbish, garbage bin, power saw. The power tools circular saw drills and the oil as well and oh there's an oil pan i'm i really want one of those it really it comes in real handy save a lot of the mess And the tools that are inside of the the showcase. And this is a lift. What people use it a lot of times to lift, like the engine transmission. And the thing that was on the left there as well was to where you put your tools in is also steering wrapped the wrap of the steering which uh, I already I've already purchased one so can't have two on my car. have the windshield the windshield wiper So this wraps the, the end of my tour inside of Ace. My next location will be Automotive Arts. Now here I am at Automotive Arts. Now Automotive Arts is really a mixture of a marine store and an auto parts dealer or seller of auto parts. 
and the reason for that is you will see in a short while my first stop is to the right and these are all marine stuffs the boat engine Yamaha some good prices there range from 1200 to like 20,000 and the wave runner it's Yamaha spots you have the bikes the motorbikes I'm not really a big fan of bikes but they have their uses and steering wrap as well can't get them out the way also the car mats car tires this one look like a racing car tires it's smooth the rims oh my god the rims are so pretty you have also the the wiper the windshield wiper the, the motor oil transmission oil WD-40 other cleaning stuffs the uh, brake fluid brake cleaner you have a customer service rep there assisting customers now this aisle you have cleaning stuffs as well this is mostly cleaning stuffs here and car perfume there's a wave runner here as well so this is not really a much a big store but okay so we look and you see here as well we have cleaning products we have perfume and so on so here is mostly for bodywork area you have the the bodywork stuff the filler resin and so on but they do also maintenance of the vehicles change of batteries test batteries as well it's a big Yamaha store I think it's an authorized dealer for Yamaha so it's not a big here so not staying long I'm gonna move on again and this automotive arts is located on Shedden Road now this wraps up my tour of automotive arts and I'm heading to Ropers now I'm by Ropers now Ropers would not fit much in an auto parts dealer store but they provide so many different services that they could fit anywhere in any of my tours they do cleaning they sell grocery parts they also sell cleaning products so i'll just tour make a look around and you'll see what i'm talking about so my tour to the, to the right is the grocery section and you'll see different types of groceries There you have the cleaning products, cleaning and refreshing, refreshing of products like air fresheners, the detergents, Tide, Gain, extra, I mean so many different ones, maybe some of them are your favorites. I'm a big fan of Tide
and just to let you know uh ropers is located in the industrial park area of dorsey drive and they do cleaning they do um, I mean so many different stuffs so many different stuffs but they are mostly known in the Cayman Islands for cleaning and the products that they sell it's really reasonable I can attest to that and it is one of the most reasonable stores in Cayman Islands trainers Our camping products, camping stuffs, and so I'm heading to this section where you have like the industrial stuffs for ki the kitchen mainly. Start with the air freshener. Major stuffs there on the left for persons who operate large kitchens. utensils, knives and forks That's a strainer that I would really want. Yes, you just uh, pour whatever you have in it and leave it to strain by itself. You don't have to be scraping the bottom for any of the residue to remain on the liquid leaves. So um, put this one on my list.
So this wraps up my tour of the entire auto parts dealer and stores in Grand Cayman. So I do hope you enjoyed watching the video. And if you do, you can leave a comment. And also if you don't, you can leave a comment. So from the Techly Things, this is Duke Rick saying, peace out.